So, in this video, I'm going to uh, discuss the solution of uh, different uh, exercises or problems that you solved in this lesson. Starting from problem two, uh, two cars start moving. I'm reading the given here. Two cars start moving from the same point on a rectilinear path at the same time, heading to the same destination 90 kilometers away. And in other words, the total distance that must be covered by both cars is 90 kilometers. The first travels at an average speed of 50 km per hour and the second at 60 km per hour. This means that the second car is moving faster than the first one. That's why if one is moving, if the second is moving faster than the first one and both have to cover the same distance, then definitely the second one is going to reach the destination before the first car. So the question now is to determine the time interval separating the arrival of the two cars to their destination. What did I write in the solution? First, I drew a diagram that represents the situation. يعني عندي first car و second car. هيدا the initial instant starting point. و this is the final point. So they started at the same time. And they are going to cover the same distance, which is 90 kilometers. But as you can see, I named the final instant for the first car TF1, while for the second car TF2. Why? Because TF1 is not equal to TF2. Both cars are not going to reach the, the destination or, or are not going to cover the, these 90 kilometers within the same interval of time. Of course, which is the second car is going to reach before at a different instant from the first car. So the first car is moving at an average speed 50 km per hour and the second car is moving at an average speed of uh, 60 km per hour. Since both started at the same time but the second car moved at a higher speed then the second car reached the destination before the first car by a certain duration. نحن هلا هدفنا نشوف الفرق بالوقت يعني قد ايه حتتاخر الثانيه عن الاولى لتوصل so total time for the first car to reach the destination is قبل ما اجي انا احسب الفرق بيناتهم راح احسب كل وحده قد ايه اخذت وقت to cover this distance at this speed so the total time needed by the first car to reach the destination delta t is d over v average 90 km over 50 km per hour Kilometer and kilometer cancel, so we are left with one, with one over one over hour, so it is hour. And 90 over 50 is 1.8 hour. Then the first car needs 1.8 hour to reach from T0 to the, or from the initial position to the final position. Okay. The total time for the second car to reach the destination is D over V average. D is also 90 kilometers, but that speed is different. It's 60 kilometer per hour. So it is 1.5 hour. فاذا مين اخذ وقت اكثر؟ الاولى طبعا ليه؟ لانه the speed is less than that of the second car. 1.8 hour, 1.5 hour. فاذا الثانية حتوصل قبل للاولى بقد ايه؟ What is the difference in time of arrival between the two cars? It is delta t1 اللي هو الرقم الاكبر اللي اخذت وقت اكثر of course لانه when we talk about time it's not going to be a negative quantity, it's positive quantity. We cannot say minus 0 0.3 hour. So that's why when we want to find the difference between the arrival of these two cars, we are going to subtract the greater minus the smaller value. So delta T1 minus delta T2, which is 1.8 hour minus 1.5 hour. So it's 0 0.3 hour. And the time interval separating the arrival of the two cars to their destination is then 0 0.3 hour. يعني تقريبا تلت الساعة, which is approximately 20 minutes. 21 minutes, يعني, approximately. Okay. Now moving to another problem. Which is a problem, if this is problem 2, then this is problem 3. A car driver moving at a speed of 100 km per hour spends 2 seconds looking at a damaged car at the side of the road. Calculate the distance covered by his car during these two seconds. The objective of this part or of this exercise is to uh, notice or to pay attention to the conversion of units. 
يعني this is simple لما أقول a car driving moving at a speed of يعني I'm giving the average speed during two seconds this is delta t they're asking for the distance d so we apply the average is 100 km per hour that we are given the time in seconds two seconds is too small to be converted into hour that's why it's preferable to convert the average speed from kilometer per hour to meter per second so this is a rule in order to convert from kilometer per hour to meter per second we uh, divide by 3.6 and I've proven it in the previous in the questions the the previous uh, exercises in the question part so divide by 3.6 it's 27.77 meter per second now I guess it I got it in the SI unit so V average is D over Delta T then D is V average times Delta T meter per second times second second and second cancels meter and the distance covered by this car is 55.54 meters طبعاً, we could have kept the speed in kilometer per hour and converted the time from seconds to hour by uh, dividing by 3600 but I told you in this case it will be a lot of number in hours so it's preferable that we convert the average speed from kilometer per hour into meter per second Now the third one, a car driver spends three hours driving at an average speed of 80 km per hour. Hon, in this problem, the objective is to be able to study the motion of an object in different phases. What do I mean by different phases? Different phases, yani in one phase it may be accelerating, increasing its speed. In other phase it may be at rest, not moving. Other one, it may be decelerating or keeping the same speed, moving at a constant speed. So, the car here studied during the whole journey ha has taken different phases. Let's read. A car driver spends three hours driving at an average speed of 80 km per hour. So, this is the first phase. The first phase is you know, during these three hours, he was moving at an average speed of 80 km per hour. So if you are given the total time and we are given the average speed, what can we calculate? Of course, we can calculate the distance covered during this time. The second phase is that he stopped for 30 minutes. Yani ana andi phase 2 huwa ibara an v equal to 0, stopped, not moving for 30 minutes. To have some rest and then drives at an average speed of 90 km per hour for two hours. This is the third phase. Okay. A certain distance is being covered at a speed of 90 km per hour during two hours. Calculate the average speed of the whole journey. When we talk about the whole journey, this means that we have to cover the total distance by the total time of the journey. So our mission now is to, on one side, calculate the distance of the whole journey, the total distance of the whole journey, and on the other side, to calculate the total time of the journey, then divide the distance, the total distance, by the total time. And this is what I did here. I divided my work into three parts, and three phases. First of all, concerning the total duration, it's clear, it's given in the problem. And three hours, the first phase. The second phase, 30 minutes. And the, uh, sorry, the first phase is three hours. The second phase is 30 minutes. And the third phase is two hours. So, I calculated the total duration by adding them. Uh, but uh, please pay attention and we cannot add an hour with minutes. So I converted from minutes to hour by dividing by 60. 30 divided by 60 is 0 0.5 hour. Or you can tell it mentally, yeah, it's not a big deal. So 3 hour plus 0 0.5 hour plus 2 hour, 5.5 hour. This is the total duration of the whole journey. Now concerning the total distance covered. In the first phase, as you can see here, there are three parts and only three phases. In the first phase, D1 is V average times delta T. The average speed was given to be 80 km per hour times 3 hours, so 240 km. 
d2 d2 times delta 2 in the second phase we said that during the 30 minutes here the car stopped or the driver stopped the car to, to have a rest and yani the speed was zero not moving so uh, d2 is v2 times delta 2 and yani zero time and you know, no distance is covered during this phase in the third phase v times delta t 90 kilometer per hour times 2 hours so it's 180 kilometers then we add the three distances 240 plus 0 plus 180 it's 42 0 kilometer uh, 0 so 420 kilometers and now the average speed is the total distance over the total time which is 420 kilometer over 5.5 hour and 76.36 kilometer per hour so when we talk about average speed during a certain interval of time this doesn't mean that we are calculating the speed at every instant and this doesn't mean that the average speed that we are going to obtain is equal to one of the speeds يعني, uh, at certain instants I'm talking نحن عم نمشي بمعدل الدي just similarly يعني, as when you go to your villages okay sometimes you speed up sometimes you speed down sometimes you stop because of traffic jam you calculate the distance covered from your from Beirut مثلا, to your village and the total time needed for the whole journey and you divide them by each other you get the average speed this average speed وكأنك إذا أنت لا وقفت ولا سرعت ولا بطأت إذا أنت كنت يعني وكأنك أنت ماشي كل الوقت على هيد الأفرج سبيد هيك بتعني الأفرج سبيد ما بتعني أنه أنت بكل لحظة كنت عم تمشي هيك أنت ممكن تكون كنت عم بتسرع عم بتبطئ عم بتوقف إلى آخره بس بالنهاية الأفرج سبيد هي total distance على total time بس تعتبر مثل وكأنه في سيارة كانت ماشية على نفس الطريق بس ما اعترض شيء إذا مشيت على هيدي الأفرج سبيد بتقطع نفس المسافة بنفس الوقت هيك بتعني الأفرج سبيد شو بعد عنا؟ هلا هون let's leave this uh, problem to an independent or uh, another video